It is answer B. The table tennis ball always moves to the center of the bowl. The surface tension of water causes the surface of water to always want to shrink to a minimum. At the same time, both the ping pong ball and the bowl are water loving. This property is also called hydrophilic. This means that water is attracted to both the wall of the bowl and the ping pong ball and rises up both, forming small crescent-shaped surfaces there, respectively. The surface tension always pulls on the ball in both directions, parallel to the water surface. If the ball is exactly in the middle of the bowl, the forces act equally in all directions and cancel each other out. The ball does not move. If the bowl is not completely filled and the ball comes closer to the edge of the bowl, the two crescent-shaped surfaces at the ball and at the edge connect causing the water to become shallower there. This causes the surface tension to act almost horizontally towards the rim at this point, while it acts diagonally downwards on the other side. Overall, the ball is pulled towards the rim of the bowl. If the bowl is over full and the ball comes closer to the edge of the bowl, the crescent-shaped surface curves in the other direction. The surface tension at the rim acts almost vertically, while that on the other side acts diagonally downwards. Overall, the ball is pulled towards the center of the bowl. This is also the reason why cornflakes on water or milk tend to attract each other and the rim of the bowl. <laughs>